Hey, do y'all want to talk uh, about a different view than yours or? Not with you. Why? Oh no, and I stand for that absolutely, one hundred percent. But are you are you Christian? I'm not. We don't have a discussion. It's not going to happen. We're not going to have a discussion. No. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, that's usually how it goes. Is that uh, the counter protesters will come out and just hold signs. See, if they had a worldview that was defensible, they would actually want to engage. They would want to talk. They'd want to talk to our audience. They want to see the opportunity for what it is. If they have truth, yeah. If they have truth, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm that, just not the not the uh, uh, 500,000 young women that are butchered. Just not those young women. Just the uh, young women already born, because it's ageism in our society. That's what we have. Where we had racism, uh, justifying man stealing. In the uh, in the 1800s and previous, now we have ageism. Now we. Yeah. If you notice, uh, the counter protesters said that they're here for women's rights, but just not the poor little women that are slaughtered, butchered chemically poisoned in the womb they are they're not the ones to be stood for they're not the ones so uh, we do absolutely appreciate these counter protesters being out here because it is their presence here that helps us light up the darkness for the gospel of Jesus Christ and bring the gospel of the Jesus of Jesus Christ into conflict with the evil of our age, which is the American abortion genocide, the American abortion genocide. And I asked these uh, uh, counter protesters, these upstanding members of their community, if they're a Christian. And normally what you'll see or what you'll hear, the answer to that question will be yes, usually. Now they didn't answer, that's fair. They didn't answer, I don't want to put words in their mouth because they're not going to speak to me as well. Which is, uh, which is the standard operating procedure. It'd be even better if they did, but 99% of the time, usually they don't. And think about it, folks. If, you, if your ideology said it was okay to murder 1.2 million human beings, the most vulnerable human beings in society a year, if your worldview taught you that, would you want to try to defend it, articulate it? I mean, the only thing you can do is repent and believe in Jesus Christ and that his gospel covers all areas of life and all areas of life equally. See, the gospel says to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, rather expose them. And so that is what, this is normative Christian activity. What the abolitionists are doing out here is normative Christian activity in a culture that kills its children. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up a prayer real quick, y'all. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we call your spirit, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you would rain down, Lord God, your spirit right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. That you would convict hearts of darkness and of wickedness, Lord God. That your kingdom come that your will would be done. Your word, Lord God, says that what we do to the most innocent, to the helpless, to the orphan, to the fatherless, we do directly unto you. Lord God, you say that the lost, the lost reject you in their hearts. And when they reject you in their hearts, they deny your existence or they transform you into an idol. And as Matt says so often, Oftentimes they name that idol Jesus. But the idols of our society, the idols of our culture, the idols of our country that keep child sacrifice legal according to man's law will be crushed under the feet of those that have the gospel. 
under the feet shod with the preparation of the gospel Lord we praise you we give you the honor we give you the glory Lord God we pray for our enemies out here Lord Jesus we pray Lord that you would just absolutely show them in their minds Lord God reveal to them the darkness and the wickedness so that they can be delivered so that they can repent the word in Hebrew is shuv turn from the sin make a 180 degree turn in the name of Jesus Lord you are the creator what happens in our society right now in this wicked society oh Lord is that those babies that you're knitting together in the place of the incarnation in the place that you came to deliver man from their sin are being ruthlessly and brutally destroyed and man doesn't care man mocks you man smiles man shakes their fists at the heavens but you O oh Lord have been merciful you have been patient you have been long-suffering you have been kind Lord God but your mercy Lord your long-suffering Lord does not cancel out the fact that you are a God of justice and Christians are called to establish justice in this present age Lord God we thank you for the privilege of being out here standing on your word Lord God standing on your promises O oh Lord living according to your covenant O oh God the spiritual man discerns good and discerns evil and judges in all things Lord God doesn't keep their faith in the four walls Lord you have called us to take your Lordship into all areas of life and all areas of life equally Lord God you are not just Lord over men's hearts and souls